Hi everyone! This time we will learn about how to draw wire waves and modify ducts. Can read and interpret the given layout drawings, draw wire waves and modify ducts according to the layout drawings. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, after layout analysis, draw an accurate baseline on the workboard. Second, when drawing on walls, specific reference lines, datum center lines of equipment and trunking must be considered. Third, measure ducts accurately before any modification. Fourth, when modifying ducts, use proper tools and check the cut edges and attachment points. Please double check preparations in detail and tools to be ready for the task. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. First, analyze the layout and check for significant points when drawing on walls. If you start drawing on walls right away, you might make a mistake, so make sure you analyze the layout and check for anything significant or important before you start drawing on walls. When analyzing the layout, highlight any important or significant points which need to be emphasized. Second, when drawing the baseline, zero point, make sure it is balanced in all directions. Measure the right-left balance of walls with a tape measure. If you set the baseline too high or too low, this might make it difficult to fix equipment on walls afterward. So be sure to measure properly when drawing the baseline. Drawing the baseline is a critical step since it influences where all the trunking of other equipment are to be fixed on walls. Third, when cutting ducts, check whether the cutting direction corresponds with the layout. Place the duct cover to face the bottom. Make the duct base to face downwards. This method is used frequently because the side of the duct cover is flat. When cutting ducts with the hand miter saw, there are many cases of misjudging the cutting direction, so pay extra attention to it. After cutting ducts with the hand miter saw, there will be two cut sections for each duct. These sections should be marked with numbers since they will all be used afterward. Fourth, when cutting ducts, hold the duct with clamps so that it doesn't wobble during the cutting process. Hold the duct with clamps. When doing this, control pressure that's applied onto the duct to prevent deformation. If the clamps hold ducts in the wrong way, the saw might get stuck during the cutting process and the cutting angle cannot be set properly, so make sure the duct is held in the right direction. Using a hand miter saw, cut the duct. When doing this, hold the duct with one hand to make sure it does not move when cutting. Fifth, before attaching the ducts onto the walls, drill holes for attachment. If you try to attach the ducts onto the walls right away without drilling holes for attachment, there will be no alignment among the walls, ducts and bottom surface, so make sure to drill holes for attachment. Have a look at what we are going to do in this training. Analyze the given layout drawings and check for significant points. Analyze the layout drawings and check the quantity and names of equipment. Draw a hypothetical baseline with a highlighter on the layout. Calculate the measurement of control box and equipment, etc., according to the layout.
When doing this, highlight significant points. Measure the center of the walls with a tape measure and mark the datum point. From the datum point, draw the baseline with a spirit level, making sure the baseline is leveled vertically and horizontally. The base lines on the three walls and the ceiling should all be connected. Draw wire ways, and where control boxes and equipment are to be fixed on walls according to the layout. Mark bending points of conduits on walls. Inspect the drawings while comparing walls and the layout. The completed layout on walls. Measure the size of ducts drawn on walls and mark on the layout. When cutting ducts, use proper tools and smooth out the sides where they are cut or to be attached. Set up a miter saw on the workbench with the proper cutting angle. Install hand miter saw to cut the duct. Place the duct on the hand miter saw. Mark the cutting point on the duct according to the measurement shown on the layout. Fix the duct to the hand miter saw, making sure it doesn't move. After setting the angle and direction of the cut accurately according to the layout. Cut the duct. When cutting the duct, make sure the right and left side are not switched.
After cutting the duct, ream the cut edges and drill screw holes for fixation. Remove debris on the cut edges using a sera cut. Drill holes on the duct where the screws will be tightened onto walls. Use a 5mm drill blade on the power drill to drill two fixing holes based on the cutting surface. After the duct modification is complete, clean up the surroundings. Move the ducts in front of walls and fix the duct onto walls according to the number marked while analyzing the layout according to the number marked while analyzing the layout. After the attachment, mark where the holes for conduits should be drilled on the ducts. This should be done according to the layout. Finalize where the holes should be located. Test run the drill to see its spinning direction, how the drill bit is fastened, and whether it is working normally. Using the drill, make holes. After drilling, use a deburring tool to remove debris. While doing it, be careful to prevent the hole from getting bigger. Remove debris on the attached ducts. Clean out the surroundings. Check again the key points of the task we've worked on in this training.
So far, we've learned about how to draw wireways and modify ducts. Thank you for your hard work.